More shotguns. Titanfall 2. I remember first firing this handheld shotgun. I was so impressed that a weapon like this got into the game, and then even more impressed at how darn good it felt to land shots on enemies. Then I saw how immaculate the reload animation was, absolutely superb weight to its motion and cool little moving parts. I literally thought someone had read my mind on how to make a powerful pistol with cool animation. I've been drawing things like this since high school and animating them since uni days. The size and positioning on screen is perfect. The sound is crisp, so high fidelity. The punch of the shot, the sound of the little metal moving parts, the thwack on a surface or enemy. It's accurate too, rewarding skilled shooters but giving you a little bit of spread for a bigger sweet spot. The particle effects are luscious, sparkly, menacing energy and ballistics racing downfield. The only thing missing is a really nice alt fire, but it's just so nice firing anyway. And then the impacts on enemies, you have the whole package here. Limb shot reaction, falling over, blasting down, shattered helmets, robot shattered steel and sparks flying everywhere. The Mozambique is such a neat little package, I can't recommend it more. So, with the scene set now and we know this game is doing a heck of a lot right, we get our hands on the EVA 8 auto shotgun. Less energy effects and more buckshot in this case, and it does not disappoint. Now you can handle an entire squad of enemies with well placed hits, the spread being wider but still very capable at medium range. Sliding into a group and wreaking havoc with this thing is such a joy, I found myself replaying scenes over and over just for the fun of it. All the same great impacts on enemies as mentioned before, it makes you feel godly when you can take on multiple soldiers, knowing you can plant a few leg shots in the first two, headshot the third, and spin back to finish off the stumbling foes. Shooting stuff in this game is thrilling, and that's saying something about how fresh this game feels after playing around 200 games before this. Every hit has this soft yet crunching sound and feel to it, it's hard to describe. The gunplay and all its related components has such a level of polish to it that it harmoniously manipulates all your senses. We have an intruder. Heavily armed and dangerous. All units in the area. Proceed to the south. The shot sound effect, which can be underwhelming with auto shotguns, is superb here. Again, crystal clear high fidelity with refined bass notes and crisp highs to each shot. I'm making this sound like a fine wine. Well, in FPS game design terms, it may as well be. So this one offers gunplay at the same high level of quality as the previous, but in a different engagement that feels just as good. I always laugh when I first fire the Mastiff, just because its spread is completely horizontal and reminds me of the original shotgun in Doom. It's a unique selling point for this gun however, and taking down two side by side enemies in one shot is a laugh. It's great, packs the biggest punch of all three shotguns but requires the most skill or you're open to a lot of damage. The projectiles are particularly energised in this instance too, it's almost like firing some kind of sparkling plasma rounds. It's beautiful, and like the previous two, a masterclass in weapon design. The only criticism I can lay at the developer's feet is that there's no hood options at all in game and no option to turn off the music soundtrack either, although I did manage to glitch it off via the menus for my weapon demonstrations. I'd like to have removed some of the on-screen clutter for a more immersive experience, but hey, it's a minor flaw. If that's the only criticism I can find, then this is surely one of the most pleasurable shotgunning experiences to have ever been made. Get this game, fire these guns. 2016. Not a bad year for FPS weapon design so far. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, or as I like to call it, Infinite Eye Strain. Owing to the fact that you won't actually see half the game, it all looks like this.
Now, I'm not here to review the game, just its shotguns, but my word, I had to do over 80 takes to get clean footage that wasn't a depth of field abusing mess. What were they thinking? <clears throat> to summarise things, all the shotguns in this game have pretty much the same effect on enemies. The projectiles vary a little and are of high quality in both audio and visuals. So, the ERAD is actually an SMG but has an underbar shotgun that is stylishly fired on its side with its own cute little digital crosshair. Makes suitably sci-fi shot sounds and the hits on enemies and environments together do sound very nice. They did a decent job with the projectiles, every time you strike an enemy or surface it looks and feels very polished. It's definitely got that AAA shine to it and it all looks beautiful in 4K60. While the short effective range of these shots seems a little suspect, it's an energy based weapon so I won't complain, maybe it dissipates in humid conditions or something. The Reaver model here looks a little more traditional and also a bit dull. The shot sound effect is below par too, it could be from any zero budget indie game. But it makes up for this with semi auto fire which is rather satisfying when you click off a torrent of rounds into some chump robot. Watch them sparks fly and hear that metal shatter, really nice. I just wish this thing looked and sounded more impressive and this could have been a real winner. The DCM-8, or Decimate, this one does almost exactly the same thing as the ERAD but with fully auto fire. Really not much else to say other than it's a decent sci-fi shotgun and was fun to use. The model could have looked a little bit more sci-fi, there's not a lot going on other than a top loaded clear case battery pack. It also has that suspect short range, just check this out, that guy is like one inch too far away. But again, it's an energy weapon from the future, I'm sure there's some logical explanation for that. The Banshee is not the most aesthetically pleasing, but I admire they try to make something novel in a weapon that fires sonic rounds that can also deafen enemies. Headshots being particularly encouraged. And it staggers enemies for a long time too, which is cool. It's literally a sonic punch, which is actually part of the descriptor I use for judging the sound categories here. But amazingly, they use the same saw saw sound effects as the other two energy shotguns. What a missed opportunity. It should have had more emphasis on the fact it's using sound to incapacitate. They needed to throw in a few more interesting sounds and particle effects to really drive it home. It's such an oddball weapon though and I was always much happier to use one of the other three campaign shotguns. Please consider supporting on Patreon. Mmm, I love it.